as I told you last week, having done the combine as, as long as I've been fortunate to do it for the NFL Network, and again, I'll be doing it at 9 Eastern time, starting it off uh, on Friday with the on-field drills. Everybody comes to town already just a few days ago, and today, Wednesday and tomorrow, Thursday, is when there are press conferences being held with all of the talent evaluators, general managers and coaches. They all go up. Well, not all of them. Belichick, I don't think, does his 15 minutes of time. Not all of them. They're not required to do it, but a lot of them do it. He's and the only one who doesn't, I think. I don't know. I don't think Sean Payton's going to go up there either. I mean, not everybody yeah. does it. Um, so you get 15 minutes up there at the podium, and a lot of questions are, are thrown uh, the way of um, general managers and coaches. And, and news gets made, and you have to sit there, and you have to take in what's being said and understand what is being said. Sometimes there's some cheese that's thrown out there. Do you take it or do you not? What is the cheese? These are all questions that need to be asked because as we are seeing today playing out writ large in the United States of America, certainly today on other parts, there's a lot of accusations of lying being thrown around. <laughs> Who's telling the truth and why would they be lying or not? When it comes to the NFL draft, pretty much everybody's lying. <laughs> or not. Depends on how you see it. General manager of the Arizona Cardinals, Steve Keim, steps to the podium today. And his, his words that came out of his mouth made a lot of news. Yeah. Because... Let's put them all together. These are all pieces. Just like the draft. It's a piece of the puzzle. These are puzzle pieces you're just putting together. Do they fit? Do they not? Cliff Kingsbury, new coach of the Arizona Cardinals when he was with Texas Tech just a few months ago. Prior to playing Oklahoma, talking up Kyler Murray, said that Kyler Murray, if he had, if he, Cliff Kingsbury, had the number one overall pick in the draft, he would choose Kyler Murray. Now, again, lying or not. Coaches, you know, sometimes talk up the opponent. Um, I bet Cliff Kingsbury didn't think that within mere weeks he would truly have a say and ownership in the number one overall pick in the draft as the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray has since come out and said he's playing football, not baseball. He's playing football. He's available in the draft in which Cliff Kingsbury suddenly now has the number one overall pick in the draft for a team, though, that chose Josh Rosen in the first round last year. Now, everybody that I speak to from Rosen Camp and from the Cardinals are basically saying, pay no attention to the chatter of Kyler Murray being chosen number one overall by the Cardinals. Also, Daniel Jeremiah, who's going to be joining us in about 14 minutes' time here on the show from Indianapolis, where he and I will spend an absurd amount of time together on the air because he's in the Mike Mayock chair with Mayock now in Oakland as the general manager. So... DJ, just like Matt Miller from Bleacher Report yesterday, just like Todd McShay from ESPN on Monday, is going to come on this show and say, without question, Nick Bose is the best player in this draft to be number one overall. He's a pass rusher. He's an elite pass rusher. This league needs pass rushers more than ever before because quarterbacks need to be put on their behinds. Arizona needs Nick Bosa. They're most likely going to take Nick Bosa. But with the Kyler Murray stuff out there, Steve Kimes steps up to the podium and asked if Josh Rosen's the quarterback there in Arizona. You get this quote correct. He says, quote, he is right now for sure. Now, we don't have the sound bite yet. I don't know if it's been recorded. I'm sure it is recorded somewhere. What did he say? He is right now for sure. Or does he say he is right now for sure? He is right now for sure <laughs> right <laughs> which one is it Steve where'd you put the accent where'd you put the emphasis he is right now for sure the right now those two words right now people are lit now they're lit is Rosen out? You as a Patriot fan are like, send him. You want it because you want to send 
anytime you got a guy that's valuable or has value, come on, got to send him to the other conference. Got to send right? him away. Steelers other are, side of the country. Like Jimmy G. Furthest like, away as possible. Like the 49ers also, good spot for good Antonio spot. Brown. Antonio Brown. Another conference. Josh Rosen. Patriots have 12 draft picks oh, in this year's draft. Oh, boy. 12. Now, why would Steve Kimes say that? <laughs> why would he say that? Again, everybody that is close to the situation, per sources, league sources, anyone from the source family tells me Rosen's the guy. So why would Steve Kimes step to the podium and say that? You want to know why? Three words. Open for business. Come get that number one pick. Yeah. Come get it. Make me an offer. You want Kyler Murray? You think somebody's going to hop up and go get Kyler Murray? You're desperate for Kyler Murray? You have uh, an affinity for Kyler Murray. Guess who might take him? Us. Number one overall. Oh, yeah. Come get him. Open for business. Open for business. I love it. I love it. This time of year is the best. Lit. So great. Yeah. How do you think that would fly with uh, your girlfriend? Hey, look, sweetheart. We're, mm. to we're together right now. For, for sure. Now. For sure. For sure. Well, right. it's the same thing that when, when Brady was asked if he's a cheater and he said, I don't believe so. Yeah. True. <laughs> Honey, you cheating on me? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. No. <laughs> but in terms of quarterbacks in Arizona, he's a quarterback right now for sure. <laughs> I can't wait to get this soundbite in to hear it. It's not a lie if you believe it. Everybody's Costanza. <laughs> Everybody's Costanza at the combine. It's a whole combine. It Costanza like combine. It is. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.